Are we rolling? Hi, Ron. We Hello, are boys. To now be joined. I like your podcast, bro. Thank you so yeah. much. In the BFT, fantasy football means a lot to factory me. What's up, Big T? Bye. How you doing, Dan? Pleasure to have you. Are you BFT, introing us? Big Cat, thank you so much for coming on. Big Cat, I know how much you've done today. I was up super early with you, did advisors, and then we did Barcel Gold interview, the Pick'em podcast. The yak. The Yak. I forgot about the Yak. The and yak. the college football show. Dang. And now this. What about me? PFT. Jamming last night. Great skit for Barcelona. He was jamming advisors. late last night. Very late. Jamming with Pop Punk. Your voice is hoarse. We did a Barcel Gold interview. That was kind of a mean thing to say. What? I have a bad voice now? No, your voice is hoarse from singing. No, he coded it. He coded it with the right stuff. You have a little yeah. chocolate chip. And he and always has shit on him. And that's probably his cookie, right? He's probably going to leave that for the next three days. Man, but I don't even know case, why I'm mad at him. We kicked his ass. Yeah, That's welcome what, to yeah. our studio, though. Happy Not to have you yet. guys in here. It's nice. I like what you've done with the place. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very pretty. But the story of the week is is the, the matchup that you guys had. And, uh, I mean, Hank, it's a rough look for you as the p- fantasy football guy who just got molly around by your dads. Yeah, I mean, the reason I asked, like, graciously asked you guys to come on was because more and more of just I need help, advice. I look at you guys as, as older brothers, father figures, if you will. I don't know what to do as content creators yourself if uh, I, don't, I just don't know what to do. Uh, well, first of all, is it just you that runs the team or is it somebody else? It's just me. Just Caleb, you. Caleb okay. helped draft it. All right. Uh, number one piece of advice, get a general manager. Right now you're operating like the Houston Texans. So it was uh, it was never in doubt that we were going to beat you. A rudderless ship. Yeah, I mean, I think more than anything, we proved that when you have uh, a good roster, you just trust your roster. You, whether they're playing or not, whether they're on bye week or not, you just keep it status quo because I think most players out there don't like change. Yeah. Um, so how many, how many ads and how many drops and ads have you made? A lot. How many have we made? 10. I've made at least 10 plus. How many have we made? Zero. Yep. I, we have, I think we've done one. I don't know. I, well, we? no, actually, no, because our kicker so. was on bye. Yeah. So we, we, we already survived the bye week well, for the kicker. So I think what this proves is that the less you You've care made, about... you made one move. We made one move. Okay, what was that move? move? One move for the entire season. It doesn't even say, but it just tracks the number of moves that every team has made. Probably, you guys have made only one move. We probably just cut a player. Yeah, it's I think someone got injured or something out for the year. Either way, I mean, it's like people overthink fantasy. They just always want this edge. It's like, dude, yeah. trust your trust your research. PFT knows we did a ton of research for the draft. Mm-hmm. Slash PFT wasn't there, and Spencer Hawes actually drafted our whole team for us. But I, te- I did text you during he the draft, texted, highlighting you say to? Some, some players I thought might get good value. And then once you draft, you let them go. Mm-hmm. Just let the boys play. How yeah. many people were sitting this week against Three. Hank? Well, Cooper Cup counts as four. That's demoralizing. He got zero points. That's demoralizing, Hank. You're, you study this more than these guys. I know. I see you in the lab studying. Why are they beating you if you're studying more? And it was I didn't even. Consider for a second that I was going to lose. Like, it was ha-ha on the show. It was jokey, 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 like PMT, instant win, back in the standings. I thought that ha- Sunday, hard work is supposed to be talent when talent doesn't work hard. And that's not what happened here. You I, outworked them, and, and they still won. I think smart work beats it's a credit. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's a credit so, to their talent, though. Wait, hold smart on. Work, you work smarter instead of harder. We work smarter because our brains never stop thinking about football. And on top of that, there will probably be some people who listen to this show and I actually kind of agree with them. There's always that douchebag who forgets about their team at the end of the season and everyone picks up easy wins. I want it on the record, PFT and I knew that we had three people on by and we actually did make one single roster decision this week that propelled us to victory. What was that decision? It was switching our defenses. And, and so, Baltimore so you defense had 24 points, mm-hmm. and that alone got us to victory. I didn't know that. So we knew we knew what we were doing. We weren't we weren't tanking. We were just simply saying our bye week guys are good enough to start even on a bye week. We also put our bye week guy Cooper Cup into the lineup, right? Or over another bye week guy. Yeah, we could have started Amendola instead. Yeah. So oh no, that's true. Yeah. So we we had Amendola we, starting. Although we outthought <laughs> ourselves. When it came to the Baltimore Ravens one, we like negated that by well, how we wanted, operate with we, the wide receiver. Remember, we wanted to get Cooper Cup some confidence. That's what we said. Get him back, yeah. Right. Get him a couple so rounds. We're, like, we're nice going to ba- back him. What it proves is that if you, the less you care about a contest that you enter, typically the more likely you are to succeed. You see it all the time in March Madness brackets and mm-hmm, office groups. Mm-hmm. The person that doesn't know anything about college basketball tends to win those. And then they get to tell that story for the rest of their life. We 
kind of take that same approach to fantasy football. I see a lot of what you guys doing almost as like the martial art of Aikido where you don't have, there's not a lot of movement. You kind of just move with the energy that the other team is giving you rather than being just over the top like a tie bow with a million kicks. It's just a little bit of a flick of the wrist here and and uh, suddenly you guys are 9-1. and one. Yeah, and we're also inspired by Steven Seagal. Mm-hmm. So we're double Aikido. We, Very, we Aikido did it. <laughs> What's your, who's on your team, Hank? Jimmy Garoppolo, Stephen Diggs, Michael Gallup, Tariq Cohen, Mark Ingram, Austin Hooper is questionable. David Ew. Johnson. It's I mean David. Do you, Johnson, have you seen David Johnson play football recently? Did you? Yeah. Did you see? Are you talking about this clip? Yes. Where he, he runs looks like, like he's uh, the oldest person in the world. Maybe the most depressing Twitter clip I've ever seen in my entire life. I haven't seen it yet. Show it to the PFT. It's, it's very it is, depressing. It is. What does Matthew Barry have to say about it? Is he still mad? He I can't. Got no, he probably. I, is, I, I, he I can't like it. I need to talk to Matthew Barry about this because this is one of those. You want well, me if get, you talk to Matthew Berry about it, you talk about a lot of things. Do you want that me to get Matthew Berry up. on the phone right now? <laughs> Should yeah. I call him for you, Hank? Okay, get, get Berry on Watch the Watch this clip. This is David Johnson, and he is so old and washed. How, overnight! This, he might, he's injured. He's he, injured. That just, looks like it's slow Oh, no. It looks like it's slow-mo. And you started him? He started him. Back-to-back two-yard yeah, runs actually, David Johnson. Oh, I actually no. appreciate David Johnson doing this because he, he proves – the theory of, like, w- could we get a yard in the NFL? The answer is no. Definitely Because I think he's running as fast as any of us could run. That would be our top speed is his just yeah. abysmal jog, yes. just his low-effort jog. So that was a tough start, almost as bad of a tough start as Cooper Cup was. But right now, Hank is out of the playoff picture because oh, wow. of that loss. He is in ninth. How uh, many teams make the playoffs? Tenth place. Eight, get eight teams make the playoffs. Eight there are no buys in the playoffs. Is, eight teams make the playoffs. That's bullshit. Hank, that there are no buys. Wait, is Hank in the hunt, though, on the graphic? Hank is Hank is he's at in the four hunt. and six. Well, we have three quarters of the fucking in, league okay, makes I, the playoffs. I just want to make sure that he's in the hunt. Still. He hasn't How been mathematically no eliminated. Do we have a playoff simulator? Uh, see that, like the playoff picture, how that unfolds. Right now, the the picture would be you guys would see Team Portnoy in the first round. How of the are there playoffs no buys if the season were to end today? Okay. And then the winner what of Smitty's team and Clem's team in the second round. What fantasy league has no buys? I this eight one. playoff teams. But, dude, you realize that, like, the whole the hardest part about fantasy is finishing first in the regular season. Playoffs are fluky. Yep. Yeah. They, whose choice was that? It wasn't a you choice stink. necessarily. That's just what happened. What do you mean it's I'll, not a choice? Everything's a choice. It was a choice. It um, Yeah, there's no buys. Though. I think that, okay. that this is a natural segue to bring up my next point, uh, which I've actually formally written out, and I'd like to, to talk about that right now, if that's all right with all I of you. I would love it. Now that we have some governors in the room. Or um, governors? Yeah. Yes. Oh, oh of yeah, course. Yeah. So when we started this podcast – our, one of our main goals was to create a well-oiled fantasy football league. It would produce content and offer a fertile back channel of organic content through side bets through the course of this season. That has not happened. Of the suite of bets made during rivalry week, to wit, no bets have been paid. Over several weeks, our current commissioner has made excuses and feeble attempts to fulfill these bets. For these reasons, I formally move that we remove the commissioner from his office. A vote of no confidence. Wow. Impeachment. Here, is here. This, impeachment is this effective immediately or for next season? I move that it be effective up to next week when we will have a vote of one of the nominations that I, uh, I, I've, I have a list of nominees for the new commissioner, and uh, I would like our governors to vote on it, but this is the first formal proclamation saying that for these reasons, an arbitrary trade deadline, a lack of knowledge and communications about rules, constant changing of trade rules without the consent of the owners, too many playoff teams, and a general lack of accountability. I object to several of these. The first being an arbitrary trade deadline. There is a trade deadline. It's not arbitrary. It's just the deadline. But why? it seems like there were trades that occurred... Am I making that up? I don't like his attitude. There afterwards? were trades that occurred before attitude, the trade Attitude, number line. six. What, attitude. What about the, the he, Smitty trade? The Smitty trade happened well before the trade. He's kind of wearing a similar sweatshirt to me today, and I fucking hate it. Wasn't that was he kind of an off-the-books type trade, though? It was he not an off-the-books type with trade. Seven, without, what happened was, seven, to my recollection, seven, there was a scheduling sweatshirt. issue with a Thursday night game with the trade occurring um, on Wednesday or Thursday, so I did the... It, the trade was agreed upon by the two governors, so I pushed it you through. Gave him an extra game. You That's gave illegal. One of their players an extra game. That's no, I. If I had been paying attention, I would have been furious. They so made no one was the allowed tr- to know. No I one didn't knew about well, this. This is back channel and midnight. everyone knew about this. It doors. was news at the time. Everyone knew about this. How? Where? Where have we been everyone made aware? 
Was Every, there, was there a everyone quid? was able to know about it. I'm was retroactively there angry. There was no quid pro quo. I received nothing in return to Except for the allow power. their trade. It, Is power worth nothing? Something tells uh, me that, that Smitty would probably vote against impeachment now that he knows uh, that Congress has been on the inside. What else do you object to? You said you objected to several um, Can you go over that list again? There was one more I objected to. Arbitrary Attitude. trade deadline. Lack of knowledge slash communication of rules. Yeah, uh... I'll wear that a little bit. Okay. That's yeah, fair. you sure will. <laughs> what was the, the whole I think it was the face. third one. What was the third one? Constant changing of trade rules without yeah. consent of owners. Yeah, I object to that wholeheartedly. There was no changing of any trade rules. Then how Sounds did you like push through the trade then? I didn't push through the trade. It normally takes 24 hours. I That's exactly what pushing through. Okay, is. so I That's pushed <laughs> I pushed through the trade because <laughs> lying had, Lying. Eight. had some sort of injury or something yourself. occurred, it would have Nine. nullified the trade that both parties had agreed to. Well, they, I don't think they that's. They agreed to it knowing that. Though. They agreed to a trade that. Well, they agreed to take a trade for the next twenty-four hours. There right, rules but in if place if it in had taken that say that you cannot trade for a player and then have him start on your roster on Thursday night if the trade is executed on a Wednesday. Do you know why that rule exists? Why is that? Because there's a waiver wire. There's something called a little waiver wire that happens Tuesday night, Wednesday morning. What does when that have to do with the wire? trade? Do we know? Sure Wednesday morning. Wednesday who morning? would know? Yes. He's never told us. Yeah. Who knows? Yeah, we don't even know when the waiver because wire is. He, that right was now. never made clear. Which is complaint number number two. Lack of knowledge slash communication of rules. The rules are clearly available to anyone who wants them on the leak website. PFG and I have been in the dark this whole time. Exactly. That's what you blame your one loss on. They could be undefeated if it weren't for we, these. Oh, we lost week one. We're on a nine-game winning streak. That's right, yeah. We're hot. You guys are very hot right now. So, among my nominations for... A new commissioner, Smitty. He's he was complicit already in some of this, so that's the only way that he could ha we could have him vote for this. Kate, a troop, she knows exactly what she's doing. But one of the drawbacks of both of them and is they're in the league, but they're also organized. We need someone that can get shit done. Brandon Newman sits across from Big T. It would be a great way to shove it in the face of our former commissioner or Daniela. Still current. The snitch Daniela. Maybe we could have her. You know that she's going to be getting the information out there to the people, and things are going to get done. She's a whistleblower, some might say. The number one whistleblower. Mm -hmm. And the whistleblower will definitely have a big part in this trial of the impeachment of our commissioner. What about, uh, can I suggest one more of name? course please, please. please i have plenty of suggestions i think commissioner nate would make for nate was on our level. list nate was definitely on our list nate is not part of the league could but rule with an iron fist exactly and he actually gets shit done jack mac one or jack mac two either of the jack max no and on jack mac two okay none of the jack jack Macs. mac one maybe but my number one choice for this and who will be my eventual nominee for our new commissioner? Wait, let's say it at the same. Let's go one, two, three, and then all three of us say it. One, one two, two, three. Hank, Spider. Oh. oh, shit. Fuck. <laughs> Hank would have been great. Hank, But no, Hank has I, a conflict have, of interest. Have, he has a conflict of interest being in the league. You said but Hank's team is so bad that I don't think yeah, that he, he can't cheat. cheat. His way into yeah, the right. So that Hank. Be, that would be tough as well. I nominate Spider, though. We know Spider's going to get stuff done. Spider doesn't have any conflicts of interest. He's a mover. He's a shaker. He's going to be my nominee, but next week we should have a governor's meeting and formally vote on this. People can bring their cases, and we can even potentially vote to keep our commissioner. But I hereby— Hell no. I vote to keep. Hell no. You don't get—you don't can't vote. vote. You Pack your bags, vote. Big T. It's, why is that? It's the, a governor's commission. You're going back to fucking— Am I not— uh, Tennessee. T Knoxville? Knoxville. Is you Knoxville could, Eastern Time Zone or Central? Eastern. That's weird. It's Tennessee, freaking weird. Tennessee well, weird. easy transition, idiot. That'll be easy. simple for you to get sent back home to your desk where you'll still be living in New York doing the rest of your duties. Fine, you can podcast. stay, but you can't stay long. We, I How appreciate long? very much you guys taking Ten years. time to do this. I have one final question on your way out. Given the strategy that it took to beat me, I know you guys are, probably have a Belichickian style where it's like take it week by week. You guys are projected to lose by 15 points this week to Breakfast and Balls, who is also a big competitor there in second place. You have Russell Wilson on the bye. Drew Brees on your bench projected to get 20 points. Will you make a move? I don't listen to projections. Can you do – Can Big T, can you change that for us? I can't change that if you wanted um, – You can't change rosters as commissioner? I don't know. I think technically, uh, technologically, I probably could. Oh, so wow! I don't. I don't. I don't meddle in teams' affairs. 
I he don't. He could have been changing. Peter and I haven't that? looked at our lineup in eight weeks. He could have been meddling with it. Have you been doing that? I, and are you meddling? I, no, I just. Are you said meddling? I don't meddle in any team's could, affairs. Though. You just said you. Could. I honestly don't know. I honestly don't know. You said technologically. Have you been you don't know. No. Have you been looking at our team? Y'all have said you've left players in on buys. Have I changed that? Well, who knows? No, no one knows. No. So you're a commissioner and you're not observing what's going on in the league is what you're saying. I'm keeping a watchful eye over things that are going on. I'm not meddling or changing anything. What does keeping a watchful eye mean if you're not if you're not even aware of what's happening with the teams? I'm certainly aware. Sounds like you're just turning a blind eye to all sorts of potential corruption. Hmm. I disavow. See, I tricked you. You thought that I was asking if you were spying on teams like that was a bad thing. As commissioner, you should you should have your commission. finger on the on the. My finger is team. firmly on the. No, pulse. I don't want to know where your finger is. Okay, that's gross. That's I would like gross. to move for a motion for next week when we have the governor's meeting that uh -huh. we play the national anthem beforehand. Yes, PFD and I will be kneeling, and we want to see what Big T does. Okay, I love that. What are you going to do? Are you going to ban us? Are you going to blackball us? No. So what are you going to okay. do? So what are you going to do? Uh, that's your. Are you going to join them? Oh, so the league that you're trying to run is one where players. Can you? Can you? Uh, that's your First Amendment right as an American. Okay. All right. Pro kneeling. Okay. Cool. G good to know. I'm not pro kneeling. A pro kneeling league. Seems yeah. kind of yeah, like you're pro kneeling. Know. I'm pro I First just Amendment. Know where you stand you're on. the commissioner. You can tell us. You can ban us. I'm not going to do that. I just want to know where you stand. I'm okay. not making a judgment one well, where you I'm pro freedom. That's what I'm pro. All right. Okay. Well, interesting. Freedom to make a trade at any day on any hour. Freedom uh, to no, change before the trade roster deadline. without them knowing because nope, they haven't checked happen. their team in eight weeks. You that also might matter. be free from your duties as commissioner uh, very soon. So, fellas, we appreciate you guys. Is there anything I can do to uh, rectify my family? No, no, no. We just want you. No, you You. You just stink. I think you got to change your name. Yeah. My Ch team, team name? name. You know, your legal name, name. Your legal name. Both. To the Redskins. <laughs> Robert, <laughs> your legal name to the Redskins or his team name? Legal name? The Redskins. The Redskins. Team name to, to Redskins. <laughs> legal name to Robert. All right, I can do one of those. Perfect. I Wait, team like name Robert. is Robert, and oh, okay, I got it. Yeah, got I would it. like him to be Robert Lockwood going um, for I'm here, here, two forward to Robert Redskins. <laughs> Robert Bobby Redskins. <laughs> Redskins. All right. Damn. After Robert Kraft, that's tough. Are you gonna? Is that okay to have a slur as a team name, Commission? I don't. No, I have no comment on that. What do you mean? Sounds like no spine. Big T, I, I like your hat. On that. Thank so you very much, Dan. That actually is a nice hat. Thank you. So it's my favorite ball? hat. I might huh? vote for so you. The I don't know, man. You're kind of... No, it's the Tennessee State what logo. Your case it's the TriStar. It, what, what's your case going to be at the governor's meeting next week to keep your job? My case is that uh, I think this league has run efficiently. I think things are going quite well. In regards to the wagering and side bets. That one, um, you could make... There's a case to be made that it maybe wasn't efficient however efficient, i would say yeah. that is but one cog in an otherwise well-oiled machine i think it was too efficient is what the problem was Just that argument could be made through. as well if you get if i'll pay for it but if you get me my coffee tomorrow i'll vote for you to stay yeah we can make that happen all right so the quick pro quo damn that there's our quick pro quo there's our quick pro quo <laughs> there's evidence. we have it on tape also one last question what would you change moving forward Let's say that. This, let's well, say I, we will have again. an entire off season to make changes, so I think that would be much more conducive to having a well-oiled machine heading into next year. So you're not going to make any changes, okay? That's no. We will. I will consult with every governor in the league and see what changes everyone feels are necessary, and we'll go from there. These fellows were supposed to do a pizza review after beating Team Portnoy, and somehow they're playing Team Portnoy almost again in the in the playoffs, and nothing has happened. Well, we don't know that yet, but. I mean, just nothing has happened. I nothing did hear has happened. I on Barstool Breakfast the other day when they were they were running through the team standings, and he looked at us because he's playing our team this week, and he was like, "Well, uh, I'm I'm confident they're not that great a team. Uh, they only scored 96 points last week, so they're a fraud." Glenny didn't he didn't do any further math than nope. that. He just looked nope. at the scores, so I'm confident not. beating Glenny. He's overlooking you guys. Yeah, that's fine. That's for sure. Drew Brees on the bench. Yeah, we'll probably change that. Now, I have one last thing for you guys. We usually take questions from our audience. Somebody asked, do you guys have any must-start players on a bye this week? Mm. Russell Wilson. Aaron Rodgers. Yeah. Devontae Adams. Aaron Jones. Aaron Jones is a good one. Chris Carson, Saquon. Lots of guys Saquon. on, on bus. Yeah. Ton, Golden Tate. Tons on buys. If Actually, we could, we'd start right only bye week players. The whole Still roster. Beat Hank too. Mm -hmm. That's tough. Well, boys, appreciate you. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Rob.